Hi, welcome everybody, it's Mike Newton here again at Lytham Golf Academy. Just done a little previous video here that's just gone on my channel um, regarding striking your irons pure, just using a little bit of a masking tape sort of drill scenario here. This video is just going to follow on from that and really sort of work side by side here in terms of how we control our low point through the swing. Um, whether if you ground out too early, obviously hitting fat shots, or it's too far in front of the golf ball where maybe you're catching it thin on the way down, then this little drill here, or just this little swing tip, is really going to make you aware of how to control your low point and get it in the right area of the, of the swing to improve your strikes with your irons. Okay, so the first thing I just want to have a little discussion with is to how do you control or how do you change that low point in the golf swing? So as you can see, I've got a hula hoop here. Obviously, I'm not going to start whizzling this around my hips here. Um, I'll leave that for my little daughter to do. But in terms of what we're trying to explain here is obviously your swing is on this big circle. Okay, we create this big circle, obviously a lot bigger than this circle I've got here as we swing that golf club. But the, the point I'm getting across here is, is this low point of this circle and how we can control that with regards to weight position at the impact. Okay, so again, what I maybe see a lot of golfers do is they hang back on this trail leg through impact and, and obviously then ground out early. So if I was to get this circle here and I sort of hang back and ground out early, you can see how this circle will move more back, i.e. that low point will move more behind the golf ball, okay? Vice versa, if I really move heavily from the top of my golf swing here and move heavily forward into that front side, a bit too much, maybe a bit of a sway into that side, you can see my low points move massively in front of the golf ball. So I'm going to hit that ball more on that downward blow, possibly hit it halfway up the ball, thin it, top it even. Okay, so it's subtly trying to work this ball, uh, this low point, you know, the low point is generally in front of our sort of chest position. So I'm working this on um, really a sort of mid iron here. Obviously, drive is going to be placed forward, so the low point again is going to be just left of centre, and then we strike the ball on that upward blow because the ball's more forward in the stance. So we're going to think of like a mid iron here, maybe a seven iron, and we're going to get that low point just front of centre. Okay, so basically target side of centre. So if I imagine I'm at an impact position here, what you'll see here is my low point at setup and then impact. I'm going to feel that rotation of my body, okay, and obviously I'd want my weight just slightly favouring my left leg at impact as my right works in, which gets my hips turning. And what you'll see happen there is as I do that, that low point just moves subtly in front of the golf ball. So hopefully that's going to help me to get that angle of attack slightly down on the ball to get that ball turf interaction that you see many of the top players on the tour do. Okay, so you can see through those examples there of how I shift my weight through, obviously hanging back, being too far ahead of it, and maybe getting more of an ideal position where we're just trying to sort of rotate around that front leg a little bit without leaning into it. We can really try and control that, uh, that low point and get some real pure strikes on the irons. So I'm just going to hit one for you here. I'm just going to really feel like I'm just going to turn through it um, you know, feel that impact so my low point is just past the golf ball. That's the image I've got in my mind here. And this is where this drill will tie in very nicely to that other video I've done with that masking tape there, which will give you some very good feedback on your shots. Yeah, good. Real sort of crisp strike there. Very much of that sort of ball turf interaction coming through the golf shot. Okay. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Please do give that one a go. Check that other video out with the masking tape there. Real simple drill will give you some very instant feedback when you're on the driving range. Give them a go. Do comment down below. Let me know how you get on. Please hit that subscribe button and hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon.